Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of boxing. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise, and guys, I am here to talk about the return of Alicia Bumgarner, the undisputed champion at 130 pounds, is back to defend her throne against Belgium's tough, durable um, Delphine Persoon. As we all know, um, Persoon was the woman that gave Katie Taylor one of her toughest fights. Back-to-back -back two tough fights, especially the first one where a lot of people thought that Katie Taylor lost that fight. Um, the Pursuun brought it to her in that fight, man. Pursuun is one tough woman, good punching power. She's got the most. She's got some of the most fights in women in in, the, in women's boxing right now. I think she's close to Amanda Serrano. If anything, I think she's got a little bit more fights than Amanda Serrano. She's uh, forty five wins with nineteen KOs with three defeats. So I think right now she's got the most fights that any woman has right now in boxing. She's a veteran. Um, and she's definitely going to come test Alicia Bumgarner out of the uh, Alicia Bumgarner is the undisputed champion at 130. She's a tremendous fighter, beautiful woman, punching power, brings the fight. And she's going to need to bring the fight because Pursuun is going to bring the fight the same way she did to Katie Taylor, who's one of the best pound for pound fighters, female fighters in the world. This fight right here, in terms of Styles, man. Is going to be a barn burner. These two women are going to go at it. Punch for punch. Both women are going to be throwing knockout shots. Knockout power. Uh, going to be throwing punches with knockout intentions. Pursuit has a pretty durable chin. Um, she likes to mix it up. Show the bum garner. So both women are going to definitely have to dig deep in this fight. To pull out a victory. Likely this fight. May not go the distance. These two women are going to go in there like it's Rios and Alvarado once again. The female version of Rios and Alvarado. That's... I expect nothing less, man, than a barn burn. The only, the, the only thing is, is Pursue now is 39. So I don't know if the wars are going to catch up with her. She hasn't lost in four years. The last time she lost was to Katie Taylor. So she hasn't lost since. And that was back in 2020. So she's been winning. You know, she's kept the streak going. And of course, Alicia Mangana only has one defeat. She already avenged that loss in her last fight. Now, this will be Alicia's first fight since, you know, over a little over a year now. Since she got a little, she got that controversy testing positive for a bad substance. Which um, caused her to go ghost in her pro career. Um... You know, due to her 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 attorneys um, telling her to step down and you know don't say nothing, we will handle it. You know, she's no longer under temporary under temporary suspension with the Association of Boxing Commission. The ban was listed on Friday after a month long effort by Bumgarner to clear her name regarding a prior positive drug test. The last hurdle was cleared as she is now poised to kick off her 2024 campaign. This is what, um, when the ban was lifted, this is what Bumgarner said on her tweet. Through trials and tribulations, I remember a lot of people were talking trash and how Bumgarner's going to do that, tainted her career, disappointment. So this is what she said after the ban was lifted. I've stayed true to my faith in Jesus Christ, posted on social media. She posted, she posted this on her social media channels. Despite public scrutiny and lies, I remain strong and confident. My light shines bright, guided by God's love. I am a courageous woman, unwavering in my journey. She has not, Bumgarner has not fought since July 15th of last year in Detroit. This is his own homecoming headliner for Bumgarner. A July 12 drug test sample, as collected by agents contracted by Drug Free Sports, showed evidence of the banned substance, mestrolone. There were several issues raised, in particular the timing of the test and chain of custody issues attached to it. The sample was not received by the accredited, accredited 
Lab Sports Medicine Research and Testing until July 21st. Nine days after it was collected on site in Detroit, the report was filed on August 10th which showed evidence of the aforementioned substance. Baumgartner professed her innocence throughout this process and compiled and compiled with the terms set forth by all four sanctioned bodies and the ABC. It's included multiple random drug tests as well as Baumgartner's own decision to submit a hair sample as part of an independent investigation. The provided sample was sufficient enough to test as far as back as last June and produced a negative result. These results conclusively rule out any possibility of intentional doping on my behalf and confirms for all of you that I am what I say I am. Bumgarner stated last November, upon learning the result, what I've stated from the very beginning is still true. I never have and never would cheat in the sport that I love and that I've been blessed with the gifts and opportunities to completely dominate. The results were sent to all relevant parties in the investigation, including the Michigan Honor and Combat Commission, whose office was embarrassingly silent during the entire process. Like I said, Bob Garner was ghost, man, ever since this stuff came out for a while. Not, the WBC, by the WBC, is not guilty of intentional ingestion of consumption of a bad substance for performance enhancement performances following a lengthy investigation. So, it's a long story here to read, guys. Um... Just want to give you guys a little bit of information on what Bumgarner was dealing with all this time. So she's obviously been cleared to compete. And here we are, September 27th, in an all-women's boxing card. This is the main event. So Alicia is back, is back to defend her throne at 130 pounds against Delphine Persoon out of Belgium, who's definitely no slouch. She's a hell of a fighter, tough fighter. And she's going to give Bumgarner a hell of a fight. And this is going to be a hell of a fight. Um, it's good to see Bumgarner back. She's one of my favorite fighters. I'm glad she's able to, she was able to clear her name. And continue to box. September 27th. Can't come soon enough. It's going to be a firefight. At 130 pounds in the women's division. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Jose Cruz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys about boxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.